We're learning more about the financial impact of closing Albuquerque Public Schools for the rest of the school year. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked with the district to get those numbers. Yeah, Dean, APS tells me since they don't have all their March bills just yet, it's unclear of the full financial picture this pandemic is having, but here's what we know so far. The district is expecting to save on energy costs since lights and air conditioning in buildings are running like normal. APS charts show on average elementary and middle schools are using about 42% less energy shown by the dark blue markings on the graph. For K through eight and high schools, the average reduction is about 36%. If things stay this way through June, the district projects it might save about $900,000 in energy bills. But the pandemic still brings some unexpected costs. There's certain tasks that have to occur, and and we're we're doing that. And um, there's costs with that. That's just the reality. And so we're trying to manage that money as 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 well and as efficiently as we can in really very difficult times. The biggest one is buying 18,000 Chromebooks to help students learn at home. The district spent a total of $6.5 million for purchasing, setting up and delivering those devices. That money is coming from the mill levy passed in late 2019. Elder says the Chromebooks didn't add additional costs, but changed the way they use that money. There was some mill levy money that was gonna be invested in technology over six years. Um, we had to accelerate that a little bit to provide the Chromebooks for the students. The idea was to buy them anyway, so we ended up buying a lot of them in one year instead of spreading out maybe over two or three. Now, APS isn't expecting to save as much in water and gas bills as it did in energy. A little bit, but it's using water still in its building and to irrigate fields. Back to you. All right, Annalisa, thank you. The district says collaborations with local and state agencies are helping like bringing internet access to students through the Wi-Fi on Wheels program.